Bitrix offers some great ways to talk to one another through a range of different tools. So we can have uh, a one-to-one -one communication uh, through the instant messenger, and we can also have a one-to-one -one voice call uh, through Bitrix as well. And we can also have one-to-one -one video calls, uh, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And furthermore, what Bitrix allows you to do, it also allows you to have group messaging, uh, so you can have unlimited members of your team in the instant messenger. And you can have group voice calls and group video calls of up to 10 people. So to access your instant messenger and your voice and video calls, there are two ways to do it. Uh, you'll be able to see in your left-hand menu a chat and calls option. If you don't see it in your left-hand menu, it may be that it is under the More section where your menu items are hidden. And the second area where you can access it is going to be your right-hand side toolbar here. So you can see already that we have uh, three chats in our history. So you can quickly and easily access previous chats that you have uh, spoken with another colleague or something about a CRM item here. So if you want to click on the little spyglass option there, and then if we type in a particular user that you want to find, within your organization. All you need to do is just type the name up in the top left hand corner here and then click on the user's name. So you can see here that I am just having a gonna have a one-to-one -one conversation. So I can type in hi Laura is today going and then what we can see here is uh, we can see the message has been sent and then we can see Laura is typing a message back to us. So what we probably should first do of all, first of all do is maybe if we can get Laura to give give me a call. So uh, I can say I'm good. And what will happen is when Laura gives us a call is it should pop up on the screen whether I want to answer the call using uh, voice or I can reply with video if I like as well. So if I click on answer, then we can have a voice conversation on the system. And like I say, you can have you can invite other people to this as well. So we can click on the add button here to invite other people into this voice call. But what I'll do as well is I will show you uh, how to do a video call. So what we can do with video is simply click on the video call up at the top. And you can see here, so you can see myself here, and then what we can also see is the recipient answer the call. And if we want to add other users to the call again, we can invite another user and then they will receive an invite on here. So that is video and voice calling. If you want to invite multiple people to the call itself, so or, or the actual messenger, so we could invite Katie and Jack. So we can invite multiple users into this chat. And maybe what we want to do is call this sales meeting. And so I can rename the chat here. I can give the chat uh, a little icon as well if we wanted to. So maybe if we give the chat a little icon and we will give the Golden Gate Bridge icon up here. So you can now stylize that particular icon up there. I think that will take a little bit of time to load up. But you can see here, if I was now to say um, today's sales going, and what will what will happen there is we'll be able to see the users who see it. Each one of these users will get a notification. If they are using the uh, mobile application, they will also get a push notification to their uh, phone, so they'll never miss a chat. So this is perfect for remote working. 
because obviously you can invite as many people as you want. If we wanted a voice and video call, we can still do that without any issues. So video here and voice. And you can have up to 10 people on those video and voice calls. So again, it's especially good for seeing, uh, for working remotely, you can talk to each other without having to leave Bittrex. And the good thing about this is that all the history of this communication is actually stored within this chat here. So if I wanted to find any files that maybe had been uploaded, or if I want to search for a particular topic of conversation, I can click into the message history and we can see here the history within here. And you can see if I was to upload any files, the files would also appear on the right hand side here as well. These, uh, these meetings, these, sale, these group sales chats and individual chats are stored in your history. So if we wanted to just search for sales meeting, you can see we have some previous ones that we've had on here. And you can also see that we the one that we have just created on here as well. So this is a great way of having instant messenger for one to one, uh, an instant messenger for one to many. You can have an unlimited amount of users in an instant messenger group uh, and you can have vo voice and video calls for up to 10 users. Now, sometimes just to make you aware that if you are having a video call, you obviously need to have a webcam. If you don't have a webcam, it will just tell you that you can't have a video call. And obviously, again, with the voice and video, you are going to need a microphone as well on your system. And so, and another point just to raise, it didn't ask me when I clicked on voice and it didn't ask me when I clicked on video calls, but it will ask you to allow access to Bit for Bitrix to your microphone. And if you are having a video, it will ask you to grant access to your webcam. Once you've clicked on that allow uh, button on the little pop-up that appears, usually in the top left-hand corner, uh, then the call will continue and it will connect and you will be able to dial and speak to that particular uh, individual within your organization. So that's a great way to communicate. Now, another way to communicate inside Bitrix as well is using the activity stream. So the activity stream is a great way to post out uh, alerts, post out uh, news articles, post out announcements. Now, obviously, in today's day and age, we do need to be posting out regular updates, maybe to do with your policies, maybe to do with working from home uh, and your remote working. So this is a perfect use for doing it on your activity stream. So what I would generally recommend for uh, posting out things such as announcements and uh, important information that you want to make sure people read about is that we can click on the more through the activity stream on the left hand menu. If we click on more, then it will give us the option to make an announcement. So what I can do in the bottom right hand corner and give it a title. So I'm going to say top 10 tips for remote working. And then what we can do here is we can add all our tips in here. So you can see if I paste these in. So we have 10 tips that we recommend for remote working. Now, what I can also do is I can actually, if I wanted to, I can embed video, uh, I can embed images, I can embed uh, external links to websites. Uh, I can also embed Vimeo and YouTube, and I can also tag people in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a file here so I can grab access to any file that's on my system. So if I said work from home here, and let that upload. Now you can have that as a file attachment if you wanted to. Uh, you can also click to embed this into your uh, news article. So you can click here and now you can see that we have our work from home image. So here we go. So what I can do then, so if I just switch off the file at the bottom, 
And now one of the most important things is who are we sending this announcement to? So you can see here at the moment, I've got the option to send it to all employees. Uh, so this is, so when I send this out, each employee will get a announcement on their activity stream with everything that we've posted into it. Now, furthermore, if I didn't want to send it to all employees, uh, I can send it to a specific department. So if you just want to send a message that is solely for the purpose of sending it to a department, just click on employees and departments here. And maybe I want to send it just to the accounts department. All you would need to do is just select this particular checkbox and you can now see that is sent to it will be sent to the accounts department. In my case, I'm just going to send this to all employees. So if I click on send now, what that will do is it will post this article to all the employees. And again, if they're using the mobile application, they will get a notification to say that Max Smith has sent out an announcement. And you can see here we have the article on here. So I'm currently logged in as Max Smith. If I just switch screens to the right hand side and now I'm just going to show you logged in as a, another user, David Brown. If I just refresh this activity stream, this is what your users will see once they receive your article. So it's a really powerful announcement in here. It's changed a different color. And the good thing with announcements is, is that the users have to mark it as red for it to disappear out of their announcements widget on the right hand column. So you can have a Marcus Red option here. So if, if this user, David Brown, wants to mark it as red here, he can do. Or alternatively, he can mark it as red here. And it will, that will therefore mean that it has been removed from the right hand widget. So if I click in here and just refresh this, what I should be able to see is uh, it's been read by two users. If I hover over it, I can now see that David Brown has read it and obviously Max Smith, who I'm logged in uh, as, has read it as well. So these are great ways to communicate whilst you're remote working. You can post it to everybody. You can post it to individuals if you wanted to on the activity stream or departments, uh, and you can have video and voice and instant messenger chats within Bittrex. Now, just a final point of what I started on is on the right hand widget bar here. You can see now I have my history, Laura Thompson, I was having a conversation with earlier. And you can also see the group sales meeting uh, group chat on the right hand side here. What's important to note is that these are private chats. If you have created a chat just for the specific people that you invited in, nobody else will know that those exist other than the uh, users that are invited into that particular sales meeting. So I hope you found that useful. They are great ways to communicate whilst you are remote working. Everybody can stay in touch with one another via Bittrex. They don't have to leave Bittrex whatsoever. Uh, so please make use of these great tools and bye for now.